killed my sister. I would never have did it. Uh, but I just wanted to protect my little sister. From She was still conscious and said, why are you killing me? I said that I wanted to move out and uh, to a friend's house, but I didn't really want to do that. I got a uh, firearm permit uh, last week and I wanted to buy a firearm and she said I couldn't do that. So I was lying and saying I would move to a friend's house if she wouldn't let me buy it. And I wanted to use this because uh, I'm my little sister. I would tell my parents and they would never do anything about it. And they would say, don't snitch and things like that. So that happened. So you, you confronted your parents about? Multiple occasions for like the past two years. I uh, killed my sister. Um, he had nothing to do with it. He was in his room. I told him he was watching her because my parents and we're at his dance. I, he was watching her. I said I would watch her. So he went up to his room. I took her down to my room, which is the basement. And we just watched SpongeBob. And she said she wanted to paint with me. So I took out a knife. I mean, it's, it's very disturbing. I would never have did it, uh, but I just wanted to protect my little sister from my. So when you did, you guys ever start painting? Painting? You said she wanted to paint. With right. You. No, I told her that she had to lie down, and I would paint with her. That's what happened when I took out the knife. Did you have the knife downstairs already? Where was where was the knife? It was in, right here. You had it inside your hoodie. Yes. How long did you been carrying the knife around? Right, like five minutes before I asked to let me watch her. Why did you want, how come you asked to to let you watch her? So that I could uh, kill my sister. Okay. When did, when did you start thinking about that? When my parents said that I couldn't buy my firearm, I knew that I couldn't kill her. I never wanted to hurt my sister. I just wanted to protect her from my that's it. But if you want to hear uh, how she died, I don't know. Okay. Was she laying on the ground? Yes. And uh, so you told her to lay down. Right. And she was fully conscious, and she was talking to me during it. Uh, if I tell you this now, I mean you're recording this. I don't have to say it in court or anything, right? I, I don't know that for sure. I mean, this I really don't want to like, talk about this that much. When he was upstairs. Okay, he was watching TV with her in the living room first. Okay. Then I went in there and said, let me watch her. So he went upstairs to his room and then I took her downstairs to my room. Did you have the knife at that point? Uh, here's what happened. Uh, I came up from my room. I did the dishes real quick. Then I just took a knife, put in my hoodie right away. Then I walked right in there and said that. So where did you get the knife? Kitchen cabinet. Did you have any conversation with her? You said yes. that she was alert? She was, she was talking to me during it, and uh, I was just trying to do it as quick as possible. But she, she was in a lot of pain. Okay, could you, I know it's tough, yeah. We'll get you through this. Could you describe to me how you how you did it? it let's let's back up a minute. Could you could you tell me what kind of knife it was? 
just do it. It wasn't a butter knife, it had like edges to it. Like a steak knife type? Right. What kind of handle? Just brown, it was like big. Would you say like it was metal? How big would you say? The handle? Or yeah. the blade? The whole the whole knife. Oh the whole knife was maybe like this. Okay. Was it one of those knives that you would find in your drawer with all your other forks and knives and spoons? Yes, yeah, it was just like a steak knife. Okay. It wasn't anything like a weapon or anything. Okay. And then you said you, you had her lay down on the ground? Yeah, I told her to do that. Okay. And this was in? My room. Your room, which is located? The basement. The basement, okay. Did you tell her that you were going to do this? No. I just said I love her. And then I took out the knife and she, she smiled. <laughs> and I made just a little cut of her neck. I, I went through back because I was afraid. And then she screamed and grabbed her neck. And uh, she said, no, stop. But uh, I just kept, I started doing it again. And then she started talking to me. And, and she was still conscious and said, why are you killing me? So then I started on the right side. She, she didn't talk anymore, but she was still breathing and had her eyes open. So, I just ran upstairs and called the police. Then when I came back down, it looked like she died. When you ran upstairs, did you tell, did you find your brother? Did your brother find you? No, he was in his room, the, the living room. I mean, the, we had a family phone in the kitchen. So I went to the family phone. I dialed the police. I just said, come here. I hung it up. Went back downstairs, checked on her. And I went back up, I didn't hear any police cars, so I called again. I said, like, come here again. I hung it up. Then I, like, looked outside for more. I was, like, waiting. So then the police called back, so I picked it up. I said, there was a murder. And then I was just explaining to them that I did it. Where did you put the knife? Well, it, it was right next to her. You just dropped it on the ground? Yes. Okay. 